Welcome everybody back to the channel. Now we have a proper review of the new German tank destroyer line. We are quickly flicking through all the stats over here of the Panzer Selbstvater Vetter 4 c of the Nashorn. And as you can see these tanks are mostly about the guns. They have excellent penetration values for the tier but they are quite underpowered in my opinion. Um, the Panzer Selbstvater Vetter 4 c it can mount this gun the 8.8 cm pack 43 l 71 or the standard flag gun the L56 and both of them feature great penetration. The same goes for the Sture Emil, you can fit this tier 9 gun on a tier 7 tank destroyer and the biggest issue you will have with it then is the amount of ammo you can carry. Only 15 rounds for the big gun, um, a lot more for the smaller gun. This one tier 8 Rhine Metal Borsig Waffenträger 2 tier 10 types of guns available but as you can see the engine only a tier 5 engine so you have you'll have some trouble getting around the battlefield and you'll have some trouble going up hills quickly moving around Waffenträger of Panzer 4 same a tier 5 engine as top engine but the weaponry oh boy oh boy oh boy 4 tier 10 guns available um, Choices between damage 640 or 460 on that one, and there's only one choice on the gun on the grill 15. 640 alpha damage at just under 5 rounds a minute. So let's take all of the tanks out for a quick spin on the battlefield. Here we have the Panther Selps Father Fetter 4C on the new map Vineyards. Um, as you can see, you might have some issues with the gun arc, and that's one reason why I would fit the L56 gun on this tank because it gives you a wider gun arc. You don't need the penetration on the AP of the L71 gun. You do have APCR if you need to um, shoot through some of the thicker, more thicker armor targets. Um, but for your average tier 5 tank that you need to penetrate, the standard AP will do very, very well. No problem if you um, if you use AP you can shoot straight through the sides of T-34s and the like. And the battle bus, the flag bus, the death dozer is pretty nimble to go around. Even though it's a big, slightly underpowered target. The Nashorn, it's a tier 6, pretty much a sniper tank. A big target as you can see. But the gun, excellent, quite quick aim time. Um, and it's mounted very high on the tank. Any, any shot... <laughs> that will be shot at you, uh, be it HE, AP or whatever, it will penetrate, be, but because the tank is uh, quite a high target, the gun is mounted way up at the top, you can peek over ridges and it's got a quick aim time, so you can reliably shoot the top of uh, the IS as you can see here, and uh, quickly grind those enemies down. It's not the big alpha image uh, gun, but uh, the DPM is quite good, um, and if you can keep um, the tank hidden a bit, if you can shoot the weak spots, uh, exposed parts of tanks, you can keep them permatracked if you want to. So, quite a good tank, sniper tank, uh, use it in a supporting role, team up with someone who can spot for you and make sure you make your shots count. The Sturer Emil is the next one. The biggest asset of this tank is its gun depression. Um, as you can see, uh, that, that black line, it's not even visible at the moment. I can shoot over these ridges at the new version of Oasis Palms um, fairly easily. Also uh, visible is the amount of ammo I'm carrying. I'm already down to 6 rounds and I haven't even fired a lot of them. Um, that's, in my opinion, the main issue with this tank. The amount of ammo you can carry because it's not a lot. You do have a fairly usable useful high explosive round, shoot it through the engine deck of American tanks and uh, they are not going to be happy. The Rhine Metal Borsig Waffenträger mounts a very big gun. As you can see that VK uh, 45 OTB, he received a hit in the engine deck from me and it instantly caused an engine fire. Um, AP will do for most of the targets you uh, will face. Um, the tank is quite nimble if you are moving in on flat ground, but uh, not so much in terms of um, in terms of turning, uh, in terms of going up hills. Um, but it's a low slung target, and I think this is one of the features that will be um, annoying to people. Of course, you have heat as well on the Rhine Metal. 
um, because all the tanks in the uh, line they are very very different uh, because this next uh, Waffentrager it mounts a rear mounted turret it has got gun depression over the front and also over the left um, as you can see here the next one the grill we're gonna see it in a few seconds it doesn't have gun depression the Waffentrager half Panzer IV does have it um, so it's a bit of a mixed bag in terms of uh, gameplay in game style and you have to readjust to that if you are grinding the tanks if you want to go up to tier 10 every tank has its unique playstyle and it's not like uh, the British tank destroyers like the 82, 88, 87 they mostly have some detailed differences but the basic gameplay is the same um, the top tanks at tier 8 and tier 9 and tier 10 they feature heat as premium ammo that's excellent you can see it here from the grill 15 even though it's a it's an open topped vehicle with uh, just a chassis and a gun mounted at the back it doesn't really have the gun depression at the front it doesn't even have the gun depression to the left or to the right what it does have is a very quick aim time we're gonna see it in a second um, when bots in an E5 are approaching us and you can see it also here it, it, it just goes down in 1.5 seconds quickest aim time in the game almost snapshot uh, snapshot times and that's what you want to be doing in my opinion use the tank take a shot pull back because anything that's gonna be shot at you will hit you we're gonna kill this E5 anyway uh, because of an ammo rack here we go and he's gone and we're gonna move up forward a bit um, this tank it goes forward quite quick that's uh, no uh, doubt about it again note the aim time Whoa, excellent I love guns that <laughs> aim quickly and also this one, a moving E5 top cupola, aim for it, thank you, 1.5 seconds, here we go, 722 off of him, no problem whatsoever. So, here it is, preview for the new tank destroyer line in patch 2.11, cheers all and happy tanking.